yeah, two 11 and nine teams here uh, in the, the Wizards versus the Nets. And more interestingly, so uh, two highly offensively focused teams. Both of these teams notorious for not playing defense and, <laughs> and only playing offense. I no doubt in my mind that this is going to be a shootout. Generally, with tied record teams, I, I tend to lean toward the home team, home court advantage, but I'm going to say that the Wizards, statistically, in the seasons past, they've, they've been the better team. Uh, when you talk about two teams that, that abandon defense and play offense, the Wizards tend to have a better offense than the Nets. So I'm going to go with the Wizards on this one here. I, I think the Wizards are going to take it um, because I think John Wall is just going to be too much for them to handle, but we'll see. Ooh. Welcome to two K Sports everyone. We have some hear. exciting NBA action oh, coming up alongside Grant Hill and Brent Barry. Oh, I'm Brian Anderson. Also with us tonight, our reporter Ali LaForce. We've got the Washington Wizards taking on the mm. Brooklyn Nets. Now Washington starting five and hitting from the mid range here and early. I mean, really gives the defense just another that thing to pass, worry definitely. about. Yeah, he's got to be a little bit more on their radar after knocking down something mm. like that. He buries it from the three. team's already doing what they need and to do. So from deep range, KD can bury you. If the Nets want to win this, ball with it. Julius Irving. Wing. Arenas and the basket's good. And KD are going to have to be and both teams running long super range efficient plays that are working. Well, both of them looking if, towards the three-point line. And I if like the Wizards want to win this, when the results are made Elvin Hayes and Wes Unsell oh, mm, are going to have to be a part of getting the boards, especially Elevation. offensively, smaller, but still for them if they do man. miss. And he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. On the AT&T 5G slam cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. Now here's Wall to the inside. Now to Beal from behind the arc. Get the rebound. Now the Nets with it. Inside, here's Durant, mm. and the Nets tack on two more. A bit of a picture-perfect start here to this game. They've connected on all three looks. They he make it look easy. Wall with it, Durant covering, and finished off He's going to have to utilize that length. You can trust Wall to find those openings. He's a talented oh, hey, so what's what's up? They are very athletic. Here's McLeod. Make a rise up high. The first quarter of action, mm. two minutes in. Great mm. open look there. Well, their offense is rolling. A perfect start. Great Four pass here on the cloud. So Rookie. Pass to Hayes. For the Nets. Doing great minute. job so far. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And even from where we're sitting, you can clearly tell it was a foul. First one at the line is good. Good on both. A great player on a great good role. He's getting to the line the early for the Wizards. Drive, the D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Nice defensive wow. play to disrupt the lob to the paint. Mm. And finished off by Hayes. He just rises up Great defense and throws by Bradley it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Oh, oh wow. Oh, here's Irving. Surprise. Irving didn't take that shot. Here's McLeod. And again, it's Brooklyn. Already yeah, we saw a lot of potential from this kid in college. How evenly matched these teams have been and in summer far. league. No different. So everyone was skeptical of them drafting him. Off target from outside. But the Nets with the lead. Here's McLeod. So far, he's been pretty good. Right side Durant. Ooh. And stolen by Hayes. So then. And here's Wall. The shot that time, not on target. 
Here's Kidd. Wall covering. Here's McLeod. The three is up. It's hauled in by Beal. So he's good at getting First you a bucket. Play. I don't know Just if he's ready to necessarily run the ten. offense. He's got it. Four for four now. He's automatic. And they may have talked about shot eight. selection coming into this. Durant inside. Out to the right wing. Ooh. Crops in the three. Five points in the game. And KD keeping like I said, he, he's good at getting you a bucket. And here's Washington. Trailing by two. They set the pick. Leans from outside. It's good. Off the glass. Defensively, what the heck was you that, can't bro? afford to get stuck on the pick. <laughs> That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with Crazy that. Crazy one-legged fade. See him give up. I mean, if that's the shots they're going to take, right? And he got the whistle on the way You're the out. Nets. You're happy so with that. He'll be headed to the line for a pair. For a spindly guy, Durant has such great body control. Hard not to foul him when he carves his way in that deep. And he drops it first. Sinks the first one. Both free throws good for Durant. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? I mean, he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. Pass to Hayes. Three-pointer. Beal. Ooh. Out of bounds. It'll be the Nets ball. Brooklyn with the ball. Here's Kidd. And here's Durant. Oh, Beal picks his pocket. Down low. That's tipped. Hayes. And finished off by Hayes. This guy is putting on a clinic for the people. Man, I'm shocked. I can't believe he pulled that off in a real game. Here's McLeod. Pass to Hickman. Outside Durant. Here's the pick. Fires for three. Mm. And it falls mm. for him. He's hit three of his first four attempts. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Now here's Wall. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Hayes with a screen on Irving. From the high post, Kevin Durant pulls it in. That's got to frustrate him. He knows he should have made that one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Connects from downtown. 11 points in the game. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Here's the three. Arenas with the bucket. It hasn't taken him any time to get into a groove. Three or four to start things off. Here's McLeod. He's got 11. Pass to Durant. Here's Hickman. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Man, he's got that touch working wow. tonight, shooting the ball very well to start this one. Right side wall. Here's Hayes. And finished off by Hayes. And they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Who's going to miss first? Every time one team scores, the other team right back at you. Now here's Durant. He's got seven. Five on the clock. Oh, Wes Huns. <laughs> Picking the pockets of right KD. The Wizards. Oh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. You can just feel oh, that my. coming. Yeah. He's shaking the hoop. He's actually shaking the whole building. Oh, what a slam. Look here. The fans going crazy right now. Here's Durant. Rebound by the Wizards. Pass to Beal. Here's Arenas. Three Man, pointer. that was wild. That's a whistle he did not want to hear. His second foul. And we're not even out of the first quarter. Rose checked in for Washington. <laughs> So Earl Monroe comes in. Hayes finds Beal. With the Wizards, but. Hayes with a screen on Irving. Here's Beal. Oh, the go ahead bucket, no good. Uh, Ken, uh, Kenny Anderson's going to come in for the right Nets. Now, just give him a bit of a breather. Try as to well as Justin Jefferson. And the whistle blows as the basket counts. 
chance at a three-point opportunity here. Tell you what, the way it's been going back and forth, it's been impressive. Makes you think this is going to be a close one, but the way the Nets have been able to, to get to the front to generate some fouls, yeah, it has me putting my faith in the Nets. Has really come out a great ball movement. The guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. Here's Chenier. Pass to Rulin. Mm. Takes a 13 footer. Mm. And the jumper is on the mark. And he knows he can make this. It's shot. A I mean, now. No whole bench for everybody. For from there. There's something to be said about knowing yourself. It allows him to shoot and shoot comfortably, even with taller defenders out there. Petrovic shot is off. Washington trailing. Harris outside. Pass to Rulin. There's the steal. Oh, what a steal from Petrovic. He's gonna take it to. Oh no! Here's Petrovic. Gets a second oh, okay. to go. Now he's one for two. When you use it right, the pump fakes as effective a move as there is. You can actually do something other than shoot three. Shanier. That's crazy. Here's Monroe. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Now Harris. Shot clock at six. Mm. Now Anderson. Carter from outside. Nails it from three. And now it's a seven-point Brooklyn lead. And they've got the deep reeling. A full three-point attack right off the tip. Pass to Harris. Fires the three. Petrovic with the rebound. Anderson with it. Outside Carter, jacks up a three, and the Nets mm. another three. They've really built this lead on the back of their perimeter game. Well, a lot of importance placed on outside shooting, and tonight you can see why after that kind of quarter exploding from the perimeter. Here's Rulin. Sinks it from distance. It's clear there's a lot of pride on the line in this one. Not always the best scenario, but in this game, pride takes over. You score on me, I'm going to come back and score on you. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-up, so maybe just a step too far. And he comes up with a bucket. And it's now only a five-point Nets lead. Now, what a great option he gives them on every possession. Pass to Petrovic. Misses off the left iron. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them, too. Here's yeah, Monroe. The rebound by Carter. Uh, defense better tighten up on the mid-range there. Much, much tighter. You expect him to make every single one of those. Count it. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow hard, and hard. great execution. Harris outside. Pass to Rulin. 41 seconds left to play in the first. But row with a bucket. You don't want to let him get into a I rhythm. I told you he was in there. for a shootout. Anderson with it. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Monroe. 20 seconds left in the opening quarter. And the Wizards with another three. These two teammates connecting right there. Slick feet. Pass to Jefferson. Carter from outside gets the three ball to go. <laughs> wow. Got 11 points. A free flowing for. Yeah. We're on pace for <laughs> quite a shootout. I wouldn't be surprised if both of these teams score 140 plus. I know I said the Wizards were going to win this going into it, but with how the Nets are playing, if they can keep this pace up, they're definitely going to win. I just, I don't think they can do it, man. I think that the Wizards still end up coming back and winning this one on the road. Quarter. 
Yep. And they do. Nets uh, definitely fell off pace there. I mean, shooting 73% from beyond the arc just can't be maintained for, for four quarters of a game, man. It just can't. Um, <laughs> and, and they show you immediately why it can't. In the second quarter, where the Wizards absolutely dominated them um, and turned that lead around to a 10-point lead at half, and then it ended up being 11 points at the fourth, and... um. They went 30, you know, seldom 38% from, from three, um, which is probably the only reason that the Nets outscored them by another four points in that quarter to make it, you know, seem close on paper, but it really kind of wasn't. Uh, you know, seven point game, though. I mean, obviously it was close, but, you know, huge differences between the two. Obviously, the, the Nets from beyond the arc were balling. And that second quarter performance from them absolutely killed them. Had they made just two or, or, or three more of these, right? To, I mean, to go five of 11, you know, isn't isn't a horrible ask, right? I mean, if they just make two more of those, it puts pressure on and, and the end of the game is completely changed. And, you know, you got to look at the free throw numbers, right? That differential as well with them missing three. <laughs> Of theirs, I mean, if they make two more of those threes and they make all three of their free throws, bada bing, bada boom, game's theirs. Um, you know, the Wizards though hounded the glass, right? Made the extra pass. Their bench was better. They got to the line twenty six times, converted all twenty six times. They were phenomenal, you know. Despite turning the ball over more, despite not shooting as well as they'd like from beyond the arc uh, or as well as the Nets would from beyond the arc, they still managed to get the job done, um, you know, playing that offensive-only style. And look, Jared McLeod, man, had 22 points. Absolutely balling. But like I said, we needed KD or Julius Irving to, to step up. And yeah, 6-10, 6-9, to 10, six to nine, they were highly efficient when they had the ball. They just didn't get the ball in their hands, right? Uh, and then... I, I, I got to see what happened in the second quarter. Why KD didn't play a single minute in the second what, what happened? He played one minute in the second quarter? Right? You know, Jared McLeod fell off a cliff. Jason Kidd, Petrovich. The, the, Petrovich and McLeod specifically are supposed to be your three-point sharpshooter guys. Both of them went 0 of 2 in that second quarter. Um, so while, yes, he had 22 points and went 4 or 7 overall, you know, he's part of the reason that they, they lost, you know, that, that second quarter performance. Um, other than that, though, I mean, really rebounds plagued them. You know, no one, no one really getting rebounds for them. Uh, I mean, Justin Jefferson or Richard Jefferson, for example. I don't know why I said Justin Jefferson. Richard Jefferson, for example, getting zero rebounds as a power forward. Um, simply, you know, unacceptable, right? Uh and, and did he foul out? Why, 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 is, why is there so many minutes here? Be, yeah, no one fouled out. So why why the heck is like Julius Irvin playing, I mean, 31 minutes is a huge disparity. But yeah, this man only ended up playing 15 minutes. It's interesting. Um, but Gilbert Arenas, man, 28 points, 5 of 8 from beyond the arc. Elvin Hayes had 27 points. Uh, only missing two shots on the night. Uh, Lloyd Harris had 23 off the bench. Bradley Beal had a rough night. <laughs> okay, but everyone else made up for it. I mean, Earl Monroe was efficient. Rulin only missed one shot. John Wall, yeah, sure, he had a rough night, but he had six rebounds from the point guard position. He had a steal, he had a block, he had eight assists. You know, he was still doing everything else that he needed to do. Um, I mean, it... You know, like I said, if you're if you're the Nets, you got to shoot better in that second quarter. Uh, if you're the Wizards, you know John Wall and Bradley Beal have to be more consistent for you. I think once Bradley Beal, John Wall, Gilbert Arenas, when they're consistent, they're championship caliber teams. I mean, this is a team that went to the finals just two seasons ago, so we know that they have that ability. You know, they just have to get that consistency back. 